So uh, Shelby and I just bought ourselves a 1972 Dodge Fargo Sportsman Royale van, extended van. It's got 11 feet of cargo space in it, about a four foot short uh, ceiling to ground space. Um, it's only got about 85,000 miles on it. Body's in amazing condition, it's been restored. There's barely any rust on it. So we think it's pretty much the best vehicle we could have got, especially at the price. Uh, we gotta do a few more things before we can safety it and e-test it. Uh, got to uh, already change the oil. We changed the air filter. We're installing a new battery. Um, getting some uh, some of the brakes need some love, so we're gonna bleed the brakes, make sure the lines are clean, and uh, check the pads and all that. And then uh, we're gonna clean the uh, combustion chamber a little bit, so it passes e-test. Or hopefully it might help pass the e-test. I'm not really sure. And uh, yeah, but you couldn't ask for a simpler engine and a nicer vehicle and she really looks nice and should be fun. All right, well, this is day one. So this is our old uh, battery tray. As you can see, it's uh, all rotted out, but uh, we're gonna use it to build or trace out a template for our new one. Well, uh, didn't end up bleeding the brakes because we popped the brake fluid open and realized the back brake fluid was completely empty and the front was half empty, so we filled it up, pumped the brakes a bunch of times, air came out of the system and bubbled up inside the tanks there, and it all cleared out. The brakes worked really well after that, so I didn't bother with the bleed. We uh, tightened up the alternator so that the belt doesn't uh, make any noise anymore, tested the wheel lugs to make sure they're nice and snug. It all looks good, the brake pads are new, I checked them. We're gonna go and get her e-tested and then get it uh, safety and we'll see how I did. All going well. We'll pass the flying colors and I'll be back in Ottawa by tomorrow.